All right, here are five things you know to get your day started. A decision about whether or not to ban a book from some school libraries in Maine has been delayed for another two weeks. School board members from MSAD 6 heard debate on the book Gender Queer last night. Right now, the district has just one copy of the book. It's at the Bon Eagle High School. Gender Queer is about a non-binary person discovering their identity, but opponents say that the themes are just too sexual for students. School board members plan to review that book and then vote on October 3rd. In Portland, school board members are planning to vote on a plan tonight that would limit the options for students when it comes to choosing a high school. Students would still be able to make a choice between Portland and Deering High Schools, but administrators would make the final call, and leaders say it's to balance out enrollment and diversity at the two schools. Portland's Board of Education is expected to hear more feedback before voting on the plan. The board meets tonight at 6. Republican candidate for Governor Paula Page released his plan for education yesterday. It includes a curriculum focused on test scores and core subjects like math and reading. LePage is also looking to shift some spending away from public education, which would give parents the option to use vouchers towards religious or charter schools. Democratic Governor Janet Mills, who's running against LePage, has released her own educational platform. It includes investments in community college, technical schools, and pre-K. And the Maine State Senate will return to Augusta today. Senators are coming together to vote on a list of nominations by Governor Mills. Some of those include seats on the Labor Relations Board, Maine Community College Board of Trustees, Maine Commission on Indigent Legal Services, and more. Each nomination needs a two-thirds vote to go through. The session starts at 10 this morning. And the Portland Sea Dogs will host their first playoff game in eight years at Hadlock Field tonight. The Somerset Patriots will come to town for game one of a best of three series. The Dogs did take four of six from Somerset just last week. First pitch for tonight's game set for six o'clock. And Todd, you mentioned the field conditions. They are the best grounds crew in the call of baseball. That field will be ready to go. I know. So yeah. bundle up if you're going to go. It's going to be should chilly. definitely go. It so. definitely will be. And there might even be a stray shower around too, but it's not going to like wash out the game. Right but now. it's the playoffs, so yeah. it'll probably be a packed house bundle anyway. Bundle right? so. support the, the little mini socks. Yep. Yep, yep, Because yep. the big socks stink, so. <laughs> yeah, they're done. <laughs> no one's supporting them anymore. Nope. <laughs> uh, cloudy and cool today with scattered showers and highs only in the upper 50s. That tomorrow we get back into some sun in the afternoon and we'll get a little warmer too. Upper 60s. Thursday morning, another round of rain and some of that will be heavy and could push amounts up close to an inch. And uh, that would be another soaker for us. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, great autumn days. Hurricane swirls by us to our east over into the Canadian Maritimes. It'll be a little breezy, um, but that's just going to add like a little bite to the air. Classic autumn. And uh, the waves will be huge, too, at the beaches. So. Good for surfers. Yeah, for surfers. Good for flag football, too. Good flag football weekend. Yeah, for sure. That was random. <laughs> for three, <laughs> things to do outside. Oh, yes. That is one thing you can do. In the do. fall. <laughs>